Looks like you got a problem. Huh? Who said that? If you're interested, I think I can help. Mr. Snuggly, you can talk? Well, I've never been called Mr. Snuggly before, but of course I can talk. Actually, the name is Fibrilius Minimus, but you can call me Fib. You must be new to the neighborhood. You could say that, but more importantly, I'm here to help you out. I couldn't help but notice you broke the plate. Yeah, I... And I imagine your father's not gonna be thrilled. Well, yeah. Now listen closely. What you need is a story. You mean like a bedtime story? No, 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 no. Now try to keep up here, kid. You need to make up a story about how somebody else broke the plate. You mean you want me to lie? Oh, no, 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 not a lie. What we are talking about here is just a little fib. People do it all the time, trust me. A little fib couldn't hurt anybody. I'm home. What's up to you, kid? Break a leg. Hi, Junior. How was your day today? My plate? My Art Bugatti limited edition collector's plate. What happened to it? Well, it's Laura's fault. She broke the plate. I tried to stop her. She said she had to demonstrate her apple chopper. Oh, my. If that's what you say happened, then, well, I trust you, Junior. But I'm very surprised at Laura. I'm going to have to call her father right away. You did it! Good work, kid! Huh? Have you grown? Oh, well, no, no. I've always been this size. But you, you are magnificent. I don't know. What about Laura? Oh, she'll be fine. Remember, a little fib couldn't hurt anybody. And besides, it's over. You're free. You're right. I don't have to worry about that plate anymore. I'm free. You betcha. I feel great. You were right. A little fib can't hurt anybody. <laughs> That's my boy. Come on, kid. Let's go have some more fun. Oh, I'm with you all the way, Tim. <laughs> <laughs>